And there it comes. Oh, you believe in Justin's wedge game. A bogey at the 10th. A couple of pars since then. Now trying to get back to even. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah, I think a little hangover on the first hole there, Colin. <laughs> Certainly you can tell it's going left to right. Tends to break a little bit more uh, in a player's mind, I feel like, collectively. I mean, I don't know what's in his mind, but I feel like it's easy to miss this one low. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> or make it. <laughs> Had just enough on it. Caught the top lip. Down for Tiger. First birdie of the day. And he's back to even par. Hoagie is one back in that huge group of one under. Well, it looks like a postage stamp down there from the tee. Really small target. Planning his first BMW championship after he missed the cut last week. And look at this beauty. That's, oh, how about that shot? Yeah, straight downhill, Dan. Probably a good full club downhill. Oh, Kisner. Hang on now. Ooh, it was right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little sideboard there, and Kisner has just hit it to a couple of feet here at 16. Ahead to two, Justin Thomas. Well, it wasn't the longest tee shot of the day. It was only 373. Rory hit one 388. Oh, wow. There's another one of those. This is just a moment ago at the 11th. This is Mark Hubbard. Found himself in a little bit of trouble. He's two over par. A little less trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> of course he made it. What a shot that was for Mark Hubbard. And just the, uh, the two bogeys on the card to go along with the one birdie at 11. Right, Ryan Palmer with his third shot here at 17 from over the green. So this was just a moment ago. Chipping back up the hill oh, <laughs> and right into the hole. So Ryan Palmer gets to even par with that chip in. Good finish last week. Tie for eighth moved him to uh, 22nd That's in a the good. points race. Now, this is a little earlier. Max Homa with his third shot here at 11. You may see this green driven a bunch of times over oh, that. Looks like it. Oh, yeah. Found its Homa. Yeah, uh, just uh, inserts that. Back at the 12th. There's English. <laughs> Looking to make up for that tee shot, and he has. There you go. That's one way to get it back quickly. You know, had a similar bunker shot back at the 10th. That was not quite as well executed. The U.S. Amateur Championship won right here on this golf course. Ooh. Wow, that would have looked good to the group there, standing there. That was all over the flag stick. 16, Rory's second. And this uphill the whole way. Turn ball, turn. There you go. Really didn't enjoy the 15th hole. Hated this tee shot here. Things are looking up. Matsuyama with a challenging second here, Paul. Yeah, he's got to decide to either one hop it or land it on. Skittered it on. Oh, how about that check? Man. How about all the check on that? How good is this? How about that? Oh! Hideki Matsuyama. Well, there's a way to get your first birdie of the day. Wow. That was spectacular. At the 11th. Yeah, this is Patrick Cantlay, a 71 yesterday. Missed to the left with his drive. This is going to be a very different hole today, Paul, with that right hole location. Yesterday, one eagle on the course, Brian Harmon on the first hole. There is the second of the week. This on a par four with that right hole location today. You are going to see some scoring and Cantley was projected 36, but at least for the time being. Quite a gap in his stroke gain. Just a moment ago at the 18th, just in front with his third, Jason Day. One of the few birdies at 18 this week. 
It's going to need a lot more of those, and I'm not sure if they're there here. Statistics a little bit for fear they would uh, show us a negative. At least I did. 15. Long birdie putt for Lonto Griffin, winner in Houston at, or excuse me, I should say earlier this season. Griffin, how about that? So Lonto Griffin, a 70 yesterday, even par, which was good work. He's got a couple of birdies today, one on 11. Michael Thompson. A lot of players told me at the start of the week they'd rather be in the sand than in the rough around the greens or certainly off the tee. And that's why, right yeah. there. Yeah. What Michael a shot. Thompson, who went some seven years before he got his second win at the 3M Open earlier this year. Followed the Honda Classic win in 2013 up. Enter the week 51, projected to 42. And the third for Daniel Berger from back of the green. Simple shot for these guys. Slicing it, cutting underneath, and bam. Wow. I guess it's, <laughs> you'll know it was that easy. And Tony Finau for birdie. Had an interesting conversation with him the other day about this hole. He said, this is a hole, despite his length, you just can't drive. You have a scoring opportunity on this course. You hit iron off the tee and wedge, and you do what is necessary. And Kevin Kisner, right side of this par five fairway. No real green to work with. That's a moonshot, Jimmy. <laughs> That's a successful moonshot. Wow. How about that? Yeah. And you see Russell Henley over at the six on the left of the screen, well off the surface at the par three. Look at this. Oh, Hoisting it way up. Come on. Oh, Russell oh. Henley. More than unlikely too. Couple under for the day, just three shots off the pace. Thank you, Lord, he says. Yeah. At 18, Dustin Johnson to grab a share of third. And he walks it in. <laughs> oh, there it is. That should make Mr. Cantlay and Mr. McElroy, McElroy a little nervous. As frustrating as it possibly can be, he can't wait for another shot. So even the guys like Tiger who shot well over par and likely would have missed a cut in a full field event. Okay. What do you know? What do you know? He's got dramatics on 18 <laughs> always, doesn't even if they're for par. It's a matter of getting up on top, but with the downwind condition here, a whole lot easier to just land it kind of right at the base of the crest there and, and let it one bouncing up from 89 yards. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> okay, all business. Tiger's got that steely look to him today. Certainly a much better ball striking day for Matt in this third round. Fantastic. <laughs> they are taking advantage of the par threes today. In this third round, now John Rahm at eight. This is just a brutal par three. Back into the breeze today, 234 to a back right hole location. That is some kind of tee shot. Look it's got a chance. Shot. Oh, man. <laughs> back into the wind, sky and a three iron in there. There's out on the golf course now. This was a moment ago at six. Oh, really? Is that right? It's in a bowl and an ace for Corey Connors. Griffin making a huge jump to get there. Birdied the first, and then at four, holes it out. Three under through four for Griffin. Oh, how about that? <laughs> Talk about high expectations and living up to it. <laughs> what a shot from Hideki, and all of a sudden, he takes the lead all to himself. And this just a moment ago, Matthew Fitzpatrick, who spent some time here in Chicago as a college student, won the U.S. Amateur, but played one year at Northwestern. The mighty lash out of 
the high stuff. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not something you could count on here. <laughs> We've seen all sorts of hole outs as we take a look at Fitzpatrick's card. There's Harris English. We almost saw an ace a little bit earlier with Hadwin, oh. but then English <laughs> drains it from the bucket. It's hole out Saturday on the Golf Channel. <laughs> a pair of twos at the par 316th. And they're laughing about it, too. Of course too. they are. <laughs> Just 87 yards. Should take one hop and spin. Like that? Ooh. Oh, Adam. There it is. There you go. Nicely done. And over at 15, Adam Scott. This for the co-lead. He has had it online all day. Manages to make one, finally. Another one up the hill, very similar to uh, the putty had there at the first. One you can be aggressive with. Yeah. There you go. So, a birdie early, kind of what he needed, very similar to how yesterday went. Playing the second nine, Gary Woodland at the difficult par three eighth. Not so difficult today for Gary as it kisses the flagstick. Also at the eighth for birdie, Joel Damon from just off the green. Remember, no fans again here since the COVID-19 pandemic. Race that one in for birdie and acknowledge all of the patrons here at Olympia Fields. Joel Damon having some fun. T. Poston hitting his second. The man who went bogey free for 72 holes when he won Wyndham. Oh, look at that shot. Two seasons ago. And we welcome you back. This is Nick Taylor, the Canadian. Watch this, a drive of 321 yards just a little bit earlier. Curls it around the corner. Snappy little 283 yards to a back right hole location. Wow. Just the ninth player this week to hit this green in two. First look at the par 4 7th, 446 yards. This is Colin Morikawa after a drive of 330 plus yards dangerous hole location you don't want to go long here well he hasn't no. how about that <laughs> good gracious great shot boy great. he's a good iron player Daniel Berger at the seventh hole this has been the most difficult fairway to hit only 33 percent of the field able to find the short grass off the tee and whoa <laughs> <laughs> hello so Daniel Berger was having a good day from 118 yards Dunks it there, had two birdies, so you can add an eagle to that. So Berger, four under for the day. Of course, he entered the week in fourth position. It's Harris English played so well last week. See him there safely inside the top ten in the FedEx Cup. Front, hole, race. Is, front hole location here at six today. Plays a little downhill and oh yeah. Boy, he's hit a lot of great shots this season. What a Ooh. bounce back season. Over at the 18th, Justin Thomas, who came into this championship right behind Dustin Johnson, finishing up his championship at the difficult 18th. And that is the way you get to Atlanta, even though he was <laughs> already in, but <laughs> a good way to go down south. Oh, yes, he can. How about that from 45 feet? Two in a row. Patrick can't lay up to two under. And now he's a stroke away from where he needs to be. Well, we've seen a couple of putts. We saw Sebastian Munoz, his ball stayed left. They've seen others stay to the right. Oh, John Rahm. Could that be the wow. shot that seals the deal? Wow. He has got the round of the week going. You just got to be totally committed to this. It's about two feet downhill. Yep. 
He gave it a great run. He gave it a great run! How about that? Wow! Dustin Johnson, are you kidding me? Playoff time with Rom. Do you believe that? And now Rom has to deal with the fact that he had the one-shot penalty. About the most reaction you'll see at a DJ. Can't help but think of the long one he made in San Diego to pick up his first PGA Tour win in style. Here it comes. Here it watch out. comes. Wow. Is this all really happening? What a putt. That is from 66 feet. Exactly as Rolf described it, he wanted to kick it out there to the left-hand side about 20 feet short of the hole and just let it drip over that hill, which is exactly what it did. Does this guy have a flair for the dramatic as well? We mentioned that putt at Torrey Pines. Wow. Didn't quite have the roar with no spectators. There are some people here, family members let in the bubble, so there's a little bit of an atmosphere out there with some volunteers who are getting to witness it in person.